Hi, I am Mohan, uh, working as assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology, Bengaluru. Okay, in this video, let us write a CNC program for the given geometry. Okay, the first step is we have to write the coordinates for this given geometry. Okay, remember for turning, we are going to write the diameter as x-axis and the length or uh, length of the given geometry as z-axis. Okay, first uh, let us write the coordinates. Let us start from the first point. You can see here the diameter is zero because we are going to take uh, this as a reference line axis. Okay, this is 0 and the length is also 0. Okay, here the x value, as I said, x, we are going to take it as diameter. Radius value is given, that is 10 mm. Therefore, diameter is 20. And the length from this reference is 10. Therefore, minus 10. Okay, at this point, the diameter is again 20. And the length is 10 plus 15, that is minus 25. 20 minus 25. Okay, at this point, the diameter is given, that is 25. The length value is again 10 plus 15, minus 25. If you have to take the z value in negative, because you can see the sign convention here. Uh, towards right, positive z. Towards left, we have to take a negative z. Okay, again, at this point, the diameter is 25. Therefore, x value is 25. The length value from the reference is 10 plus 15 plus 15 that is 40 minus 40 mm again at this point the diameter is 32 32 and uh, z value is 40 plus 10 is minus 50 mm okay at the last point the diameter is 32 and the length value is 50 plus 15 minus 65 mm okay next uh, we have to assume the billet Okay, the billet size should be greater than the given geometry. Here the maximum diameter is 32. Hence, I am going to assume the billet size as 35 mm. And here the maximum length is 65. Here I am going to assume the length of the billet as 70 mm. Or you can assume more than that. But it should not be less than these values. And now, uh, list the operation to be performed in order to convert this billet to this given geometry okay the operations to be performed see now we have a billet now we have to convert this billet to this geometry in order to convert we have to do some operation in that the first uh, operation is uh, facing we have to remove we have to uh, we have to reduce the length uh, next, after facing, we have to do step turning. Finally, we have to do finishing operation. Okay. For facing, I am going to use the T0101 tool. Uh, for turning, I am going to use the T0202 tool. And finishing, I am going to use T0303 tool. Okay. For turning operation, for the code for a tool is a T followed by four digit number the first two digit indicate the turret number the last two digit indicate the tool number okay now let us write the program see the program start with o o indicates program number program number may be anything i'm here i'm going to assume 1111 okay now the first block n1 n indicates block number it does not have any function related to machining okay n1 the first line is uh, g21 and uh, g98 g21 indicates all dimensions are in mm you can see here all the dimensions given in the geometry are in mm and the uh, g98 for turning we are going to use g98 g98 is uh, feed rate in mm per revolution the second block n2 m03 Yes, uh, 2000. Okay, M03 is a spindle on. After uh, switching on the spindle, we have to speed, uh, set the speed. Let it be 2000 RPM. Next block, M3. Now we have to change the tool. As I said, the first operation we have to perform is the uh, facing. Therefore, I am going to choose the first tool. M06, that is change the tool. 
T0101. Okay, now I selected the facing tool and I'm going to switch on the coolant that is M08. Okay, next now we have to write the anyway I have selected the facing tool. Now I have to write the syntax for facing operation. The syntax for facing operation is G72 W value R value next block N5 G72 P value Q value U value W value and F value. Okay, here G72 is uh, facing cycle. W is depth of cut. Here I am going to assume uh, 0.1 mm. That is in one pass I am going to remove only 0.1 mm. R is retract value. I am going to assume it as uh, 0.5 mm. In the next block N5 G72 is again a facing cycle. Uh, P is starting block and Q is ending block. U is uh, finishing allowance in x direction. I am going to assume it as 0.01 mm. W is finishing allowance in uh, Z axis. I am going to assume it as 0.01 mm. Okay, feed at uh, let it be 20 mm per revolution. Okay, now we have to do the uh, facing. You can see, okay, this is the billet. We have to remove this part in facing operation. Now the tool is at uh, its home position. Now we have to bring the tool from its home position to this point. Okay n6 next block okay in order to move the tool rapidly from its home position to the required position we are going to use uh, g00 at what position at this position at this position the coordinate is uh, 35 comma 0 therefore z00 x35 z0 now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from here to here that is to the center point okay in this process we are going to remove the material therefore we have to use uh, g01 okay next block n7 g01 okay x0 z0 okay now we are done with uh, facing operation okay uh, next after facing operation we have to do the step turning before that we have to change the tool Okay, before changing the tool, send this uh, facing tool to its reference point. Use uh, G28, U0, W0. Okay, now you can observe here the facing operation started at uh, 6 block and ended at 7 block. Therefore, P value is 6 and Q value is 7. Okay, here the amount of material you have to remove it is based on depth of cut. Okay, if you want to remove uh, extra material, you can give that value at W. W indicates the depth of cut. Okay, now the facing operation is over. Now change the tool to perform uh, step turning N9. Uh, the code to change the tool is M06 and for step turning I am using a T0202 tool. M06 T0202. Okay, now N10. Now we have to write the syntax for uh, rough turning. Uh, step turning okay the syntax is uh, g71 u is depth of cut and r value is a retract value again n11 g71 p value that is starting block number q value ending block number u is finishing allowance i'm going to assume it as 0 0.01 w is finishing allowance in z axis i'm going to assume it as 0 0.01 and f value feed value let it be 20 mm okay here g71 is turning cycle u is a depth of cut i am going to assume it as 0.5 mm r is retract value let it be 1 mm okay now i have to write the code for uh, rough turning okay next block is n12 okay now the tool is uh, somewhere here uh, you can observe the figure here now the tool is at uh, home position now we have to move the tool from here to here because we have to start the step turning from this point Okay, in order to move the tool from its home position, we are going to use uh, G00. G00, what is the coordinate at this point? X0, Z0. Okay. Now, M13. Now the tool is here. Now we have to move the tool from here to here. Okay, you can observe that is circular interpolation in anti clockwise. For circular interpolation, anti clockwise, the code is uh, G03. 
and x value you can observe x value is 20 and z value is uh, minus 10 and uh, for uh, circular interpolation we have to mention the radius radius is given that is 10 mm and feed value let it be 20 or 25 okay now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again this is linear in 14 for linear interpolation the code is g01 the coordinate is x20 z minus 25 okay now the tool is here we have to move the tool from here to here again that is linear for linear interpolation the code is g01 x25 z minus 25 okay now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again this is linear in 16 g01 x25 z minus 40 okay now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again this is linear for linear again g01 g01 x32 z minus 50 now the tool is here now we have to move the tool from this point to this point again in 18 again that is linear g01 x32 z minus 65 okay now we have completed the step turning operation you can observe here the step turning started at the 12th block and ended at 18 block therefore q value is 18 p value is 12 now step turning that is second operation is over now send this tool to its uh, reference point that is g28 u0 w0 now the third operation is the finishing cycle now change the tool for finishing cycle that is m06 to change the tool t0303 okay and now write the syntax for a finishing cycle the syntax for finishing cycle is uh, g70 p value q value and feed value okay here p value is starting block number q is again ending block number i'm going to choose the same values p value is uh, 12 q value is 18 because uh, at this steps only how to do the finishing operation and feed value let it be 15 mm per revolution okay now a completed all the operation facing step turning and finishing okay okay this is uh, facing from here to here is turning and this is finishing now all the operations are over gn22 send the tool to its reference point g28 u0 w0 n23 now we have to switch off the spindle m05 switch off the coolant m09 and finally we have to stop the program m30 thank you and now let us execute this program in cadm software uh, first uh, type the given program uh, in uh, ms word or notepad select the program copy then go to software and we are using uh, cnc turn software select ok now select uh, cre create a new part click ok ok in uh, program editor uh, paste the program now go to blank okay, here the blank length is uh, 70 mm and blank diameter is uh, 35 mm click ok then go to machine in machine select a FANUP type A machine then go to syntax the syntax is used to check the errors in the program since there are no errors uh, it will directly take you to uh, tools okay here uh, select the tools okay the first operation we are doing is facing therefore first select the facing tool that is t011 go to external tool external tool uh, select facing tool click ok the second operation we are doing is uh, step turning uh, select go to external tool external turn uh, select uh, step turning tool uh, third operation we are doing is finishing for that also we have to go to external turn, external turn, uh, select uh, the sharp tool, I am going to select this, click ok, ok, now simulate.
Okay, this is the given geometry. Thank you.